What's up, people? Afro Blade Mass here for some more Skyrim. It's been a hot minute since I recorded this game, I'm not gonna lie. Or since I played it at all. Um. So, yeah, I believe I was heading towards the quest marker. Uh, my followers will show up at some point. I kind of took an unorthodox path, and their pathfinding may take a bit to find. Oh, never mind. There's Lydia. Okay, so where's Ashley? There she goes dancing again. Oh, Ashley will catch up. Thought that was some orving for a minute there. Okay, so uh, last time we started heading this way to go get the... <sighs> what the fuck was it? To get the horn of... I can't remember his name. Jarl wins something. But, yeah, and last ep apparently last episode, which I just edited the other day, despite it being on my hard drive for a, for half a month. Um, <laughs> apparently last time I was completely out of it, so I ended the episode early. Hopefully this time will be different. Okay, seriously, where is Ashley? Familiar Faces is still here. Yeah, Ashley's setup is still there. She should still be following me. Yeah, they get lost sometimes, and sometimes you just gotta hit a load zone for them to pop up. Okay, I am not used to playing. Okay, apparently my headphones are up higher than they usually are because I can, because like I could hear like every single one of Lydia's steps, and it's throwing me off. I'm just gonna pass through this place. I'm not gonna pay attention to any of the quests here, even though some of the quests are kind of interesting. What with people's dreams getting all fucked up? What with vampire attacks? Wait, what's the... Wait, no. Dreams... No, no. The Dreams one is uh, Dawnstar. There are two danger quests in Dawnstar. I don't see anything worth grabbing. Okay, so, uh... Okay, I'm completely drawing a blank on what I was going to actually talk about. Should be something with... Should be something to do with this game. Or something in it. Or, the mod, or some of the mods I got for it, which... I haven't actually looked through the list in a while, so I only have a very superficial list in my head. A lot of death bells. Uh. Hey, look, a cave. Wonder what's inside. I wish. What's this location called? Oh yeah, this is like this is this is actually one of the places for quests. So I'm not gonna bother with that right now. I believe that's a. I believe that's the, one of the quests in the town. Like a. Murder mystery quest. One of the few that are in this game. Because I know of at least two. That one and one over in Windhelm. Ah, dragonflies. Fuck it. I'll... I'll catch... I'll find more later that I can catch. Mud crap. Okay, good thing I kind of hit a little bit of a lag spike there, because if not, I would have whapped Lydia. She's probably and she's probably already pissed at me for some reason or another. I mean, this is the place we actually have to go. Wait, how many black soul gems do I got? I have no empty ones. 
Okay. Wow. Okay, neat thing. Kill this lady. And everyone else just kind of drops dead. Necromancy and whatnot. Is that a bee? No, it's a butterfly. Okay. Second there, I thought it was a bee. Speaking of, uh... Anyone know how to keep hornets out of their room? Because, like, even though I'm, I'm pretty sure my window is all taped up good, every once in a while I will find a hornet. Like, not like a not like a small, like, little yellow jack. I mean, like a, like a fairly large, like, either black and yellow or, like, cobalt metallic blue. Thankfully, it's only ever been one at a time, and I've always managed to murder the shit out of them before they stung me, but still. It's kind of distressing. Okay, where the fuck is Ashley? Ah, she'll find her way to us eventually. If not, I could always go back to the college in Winterhold and... So and yours are slower than our guillions in a blizzard. I am not used to being able to hear the voices that well. There goes another one. Just do And whap. Yeah, fuck you, conjurers. You and your dead magic and throwing ice bolts at people. Those things are cold, you know. Okay, like, even though I know ex I know it's nothing to really be bothered about, it's kind of bugging me that Ashley's nowhere to be found. Because, like, as I said, I just edited that, like, those episodes yesterday, and she should be here. Should be here. And, wow. Oh yeah, there's a shit ton of Draugr back here. Well, thank you for doing all that work, Lydia. I mean... Like, whoever pays you should get a raise, because I'm pretty sure it's not me. I think it's the Jarl. Jarl should give you a raise. Just get those out of the way so I don't pick up any fucking tankards. Uh, there it is. Yeah, in first person aiming at stuff like that's I mean in third person aiming like that stuff like that is kinda wonky sometimes. Because these games weren't really made to be played in third person, to be perfectly honest. I mean, granted, it's a billion times more bearable in this than it is in like, you know any of the other Elder Scrolls games. Now, you know, seeing as how I've done this dungeon so many times, you'd figure I'd actually have something to say about it, but... No, not really! I mean, like... Like, like if you if I actually stopped and listened to those uh, people talking earlier, 
Might have gotten some neat lore tidbits, but for the most part, it's just a another crypt. Just bigger, because it has story importance. Yeah, that is one issue that the Elder Scrolls games do have, is that, like, a lot of their dungeons are very samey. Especially in, like, Oblivion. Like, I don't remember, like, I would also, I would say the same thing about Morrowind, but I don't remember that much of Morrowind. To be perfectly honest. Ah, uh, still just Lydia. Maybe if I fast travel. Oh, well, we don't necessarily need Ashley for this bit. Maybe a drug right here. Yep. So I believe this is iron. Yeah. Yeah, that is actually pretty. That is actually pretty cool looking. It is one thing I will say about this game is that like, like, some of the set pieces are really cool. Just do. <clears throat> I saw Flicker there for a second. Anyone else see that? You know what, that reminds me, I need to set up freaking OBS to broadcast and record at 60 FPS rather than 30. I'm pretty sure my computer can take it. I remember in a dungeon like this, I think it might not be till way later actually. Like, when you go in, like, there's, like, a pillar like this and a little, like, like, end table kind of thing like that. And on one side, that has a, it has a handful of soul gems. That might, that might actually be in one of the DLCs. I cannot remember. But before that, we need to, but before we can tackle that, we need to bitch slap Alduin into, into defeat. It should be easy enough, to be perfectly honest. Ah, shit, is my, uh, weapon... Is my weapon run out of charge? It has... That should help. Now, flip that handle. Flip this handle. We get back here. Hmm, it usually has something that's enchanted. Even if it's like a simple enchantment. Just do this now. No, yeah, let's have our boots let's have boots of fortify stamina. There we go. And level up! Out of the way, please, Lydia. We'll save that level up for later. Okay, so for a second there, I was like, oh, like in the back of my head, I was like, oh shit, I need to end it now. But no, it's, it's not Pokemon. <laughs> Which, by the way, I am actually really hyped to be to be doing that. Let's play too. But we're not here to talk about Pokemon. We are here to use our voice to do magical shit. Ow. Stop it. Just 
go first person. Oh, there's Lydia. That skeleton will get up. There's also one up there. Okay, so for the longest time, including in the first Let's Play of this game I did, I thought the only way to actually get back here... I thought you couldn't get back here, so I thought it was like... Well, maybe it's a uh, developer oversight or something, and maybe you need... Or maybe to get the stuff that's by the Draugr, you need to use, like, the telekinesis spell, which... You know, isn't really the case. You know, I don't know why I went down this way when I could have just literally walked the other way and showed you what I mean. And... that. Yeah, because the only thing I knew of it is, like, coming up here... And you can see that Draugr in the chest, and usually you can see the Soul Gem or something that's next to him. So it's used to, that's usually a weird thing. Alright, there's a chest here, too. That's a chest I, knew, I usually forget about. Now, before we go over there, which is where we're supposed to go, by the way... We're going to want to go down here. Because there's a word wall! Well, I'm sorry, a word wall! There we go. Man, that looks weird on the capture. <laughs> F2M? I don't know why it's like that. It's probably a overhaul. It's probably one of the overhaul mods I got. It's usually I usually find a dwarven sword or a dwarven hammer there. And also, uh, one thing that I always remember getting, but apparently, like, isn't a thing. It was just, like, it was just luck for the first three or four times I run through this place. But. Ooh. Those nice boots. But. The, uh. Like, the Draugr that is over here. Yeah, this one. The first, like, three or four times I went through here, every single time, that one had a, uh, amulet of Talos on him. Okay, that Orbane up there is Corundum, but I'm not gonna... Is it pronounced Corundum? Whatever. Like, whatever it's, whatever it's called, like, that's, like... I'm not gonna get that one. Because I actually have carry weight to worry about this time. So now we go over here. Make sure I still have whirlwind sprint equipped. Is that we deal with this asshole? You know, I'm glad it only expends charges when you hit something. Knowing Bethesda, it would like it would seem something like it would seem like it would like every time you swung it it would get reduced. But yeah, with this one There is barely not enough time to make it. So that is fixed by shouting. 
And for some reason, after you get past it, it just opens up and doesn't close again. Yeah, and these are all like... Let's see if Lydia will trigger one. You okay over there, Lydia? There you go. Huh. Up oh, there it goes. Yeah, they're all yeah, these are all supposed to shoot fire, but half of them don't for some reason. Okay now I remember this fight specifically being hard half the time and we are at twenty minutes. So next time on Skyrim we are, we are literally like two rooms away from the end of this dungeon, so we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna figure out where the fuck Ashley's been this entire episode. Alright, I'll see you guys later. This is that for Blademaster. Logging off.